One, two, one. You got it, guys. You got it. Training is important in any job, but especially when the job can be a matter of life and death. Firefighters have that kind of job. Beyond the shiny red fire engines and the sirens, those are always fun, the Panama City Beach Fire Department maintains their edge each year right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's an obstacle course that begins with a climb up four floors of stairs carrying an empty fire hose. Then pull more hose up to the roof with a rope, hand over hand. Then go back down the stairs carrying that hose again and chop wood for a minute. Get it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. After that minute is up, grab a live hose that's connected to the fire truck and pull it 100 feet to spray a target. And the last test? Drag Rescue Randy, a 180-pound simulation of an unconscious fire victim, another 100 feet. It's challenging. That's why it's called the Combat Challenge. It kind of gives us a picture of really how good a shape we are. You know, firefighting is a very, very strenuous job, and you really have to be in uh, pretty good shape to, to really uh, do it properly. Captain Joe Coco extended this challenge to me when he said, take my job, Rob, and I accepted. Captain Coco is 48 years old, and he completed the course in 3 minutes and 50 seconds. The best time of the day among this group was 3 minutes, 18 seconds. I wasn't really concerned with my time. I was more concerned with breathing and finishing. Take it easy. Catch your breath. Which I did, by the way, in four minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> what do we got? Woo! 450. 450, all right. Not bad, not bad, Robbie. Woo! Four minutes and 50 seconds. That's what they mean when it keeps you in shape. It's not just the combat challenge with the stairs, the wood, the hose, and rescue Randy here, but it's the fact you're in full gear when you do it. I did it. Robbie Thomas, News 13 on your side. Woo!